Hey, hey, going on? It's Dartman Tibet Time News. What's been happening? Um, just like last night or some people today or all different times around the world, the new download content for Battlefield 3 came out, and straight away I recognised that that island, Wake Island from Battlefield 1943, from 42, I think it's 43, yeah, was in there, and I'm straight away I'm like, oh, you know, sweet, and I go straight into that map, and like halfway through or towards the end of the game. Of conquest and scored eight zero, which is probably like best for me because I didn't die. Well, no, actually, I died right at the end. I think I was the last person shot, so it was like eight one. But anyways, um, the new update came out, and I was like panicking, going, "Oh, you know, where's the code to download this download?" Kind of running around, and I actually remembered that that didn't come with a code. You wouldn't make like, get it if you got limited edition, which everybody did. But download content, or well, that basically the update came out, and then two gig. And then the thing is, I went and looked at my, you know, memory part of the Xbox and looked at all the save data on everything for Battlefield 3. And you know how it requires you to, like, download off that disc the HD content onto your Xbox for the better quality while you play in single player. And then you look at the game saves and stuff like that. And it, it, in total, equals 3.8 gig. And I'm like, hang on a sec. What happens to all the people that bought the um, Xbox Slim, the 4 gig, you know? If they play any other game, they won't be able to basically download this update because where are they going to put it, you know? You're going to have, like, little memory sticks. You could possibly do that because I know Xbox memory can go on external little sticks for up to, like, 16 gig. You can get, like, a 16 gig stick or a 30 gig stick, but then you only can put 16 gig of Xbox memory on it and then put the stuff on there. But that's what I'm saying. If you bought the 4 gig console, now your console is full just for playing one game, and that's it, you know? On well, 3.8, but other people might be different depending on how far they've gone through the single player. I'm not sure if that file actually changes size depending on how far you've gone through the campaign. But I finished, so I'm guessing if it, I'm mean, like halfway through, it might be a bit smaller. But then you multiply one, I don't think that really changed because it's just saving like data code and stuff like that. But um, what do you think, you know? Do, were you one of the ones that went out and bought the 4 gig console and thought, you know, you never fill it up? Or do you think straight away, you know, hang in a minute? If download content comes out or something like that, you know, you want somewhere to put it on, so you go and grab the bigger one straight away. That's what I did, because when I had the small, I mean, the original white Xbox, I had 60 gig, and I filled that pretty fast with, like, movies and music and stuff. So straight away, I'm like, nah, go and get the 200 gig for the um, new Xbox Slim. Um, sorry if you got the 4 gig. I don't know what you're going to do. Upgrade it or figure out something like that. Um, what do you guys have? Do you have the 4 gig? Do you have the 200 gig? How are you going to work your way around it? Are you going to use external little hard drive or maybe like a USB stick, something like that? Um, leave a comment and thanks, guys. I'll see you later.